talk about another Siberian herb that's uh, noted for longevity. And the actual scientist, the real Western scientist, they tested a lot of these herbs and, and they wanted to know which ones really worked. And they were, the way they did it was they checked, they tested them on fruit flies and mice. Now, the longevity of a fruit fly is easy to measure because it doesn't live that long. It's like one of these things where, it, you know, I don't sell this stuff or anything, but if I present it to you, um, it may be more of a theory, but it's also based upon folklore and, you know, the people from Siberia. They've been noted for longevity in harsh climates. Um, you know, they live in a harsh, cold climate that's very unforgiving. I know one of them I went through before was the Shaga mushroom, which is actually like a tree bark almost. It's a, it's a mushroom, but it looks like a tree bark. It contains a lot of sod. It's also made in the Maine, USA. The other one I'm going to talk about here is, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to say this, uh, Rod D Rod Rodiola root Rodiola root Rodiola root. And here's the spelling on it. If you actually see what how it's spelled, it's R H O D I O L A Rodiola root. If I'm saying that correctly, it's not. Uh, si they tried Siberian ginseng. Uh, they tested it also on the flies, the fruit flies, the mice. They did not see where that actually gives a lot of longevity. It probably has a lot of other long um, term health benefits, maybe. But they found that, to give a percentage, a lot of people love percentages, they found that the fruit flies uh, live 23% longer. So what happened is, actually the Russians, you know, the Russian scientists, you know, they got a hold of, um, you know, what was, you know, the medicines that were used in Siberia, which is one of these. It's not really a medicine, it's actually just a root that's very helpful. And they were giving it to their athletes, they were giving it to their cosmonauts, just to give them that little cutting edge but uh, it's not an expensive um, herb now I don't know I always I, I always buy things on Puritan's Pride you know Puritan.com but I'm not selling for them I notice people always ask to put links on my videos and stuff I don't really I just tell you what I do that's all I'm telling you I just tell you what I do I don't like you know I'm not affiliated with anybody but I always try to look for the best deal because I don't like spending a lot of money on something that is tacked, that has a lot of extra charges tacked on because of marketing and all this other stuff. So I'm not a marketer. I'm just an end user. But uh, I like the idea behind this route. Actually, I forgot about it because I take so many different herbs and vitamins. You know, vitamin E is really good for you. Vitamin C is really good for you. Vitamin D3 with K2 is really good for you. There's a lot of different things I do. And I forgot about this one, actually. This is one of these. It's actually an ancient Chinese medicine, too. But it's also known as a Siberian herb. It's one of their main secrets to longevity. But considering you can't take... I mean, you're not going to be able to take a set of humans and say, let's give these humans this herb, and these other humans don't have this herb. And there's all these other factors from genetics to the environment to, you know, whatever food you eat that will affect your longevity. And you'll probably get this average, you know, it's like, can I guarantee you that this is going to be, uh, make you longer lived? No, but it's like, it's not just the scientific experiments. They confirm some of the stuff that the Siberians were talking about with the scientific experiments with the fruit flies and the mice. But um, this is the only herb that they used. I don't know if they checked Shaga, though. Shaga is another one that supposedly really does a lot of longevity. But um, they checked the other herbs, like the ones you typically see, see in uh, you know, the supermarkets, or you typically probably know about the Siberian ginseng, which is very good to take. Um, it, did not, it did not increase the longevity of the flies, the fruit flies, or the mice. But this stuff did, uh, rhodiola root, rhodiola root. You know, I don't actually, you know, actually I'm not in the habit, you can tell I'm not a marketer, because I'm not in the habit of pronouncing the word. I actually just look at it and, you know, I buy it or I look at it where, you know, the stuff I have stored, I don't really talk about it. So, you know, I mean, maybe that's a little bit of good evidence that I'm not a marketer, because I'm not. I'm an end user, uh, because... I don't know, maybe some people have that suspicion, but I'm definitely not.
But, and, you know, it's almost like I play this game in search of what's, uh, what's the best stuff you can have for health, what's the best stuff you can have for boosting your intelligence, your vibrance, how well you feel, how alert you are, your longevity. You know, what the hell? Why not, right? Why, why mess yourself up? Why not take good things for your body than things that harm your body, right? I mean, to me, it's a good idea, right? Why not? But this is one, it's not, I don't even know what this costs, I forgot, because I, I buy it in, you know, I buy like 10 of these at once and stuff, but they're not much money. It's not an expensive herb. Not from this place, anyway. And I'll sell for them or nothing, but it actually does have, you know, let me put it to you this way. When somebody says something, when an ancient culture you know, the Siberians, you know, they've been living up in that harsh environment. They've been saying something for thousands of years, maybe, or at least hundreds of years, that this herb is the best thing in the world. It'll give you strength, life, vitality, long life. And they do have a long life, and they do live in a very harsh environment, and they seem to be very strong people. Well, you know, you can't ignore that type of stuff. Now, Western scientists and Russian scientists, they have verified... Um, this herb on, like I said, the fruit flies and the mice, and they found that it, it greatly increased longevity. Now, wouldn't that be cool if it increased longevity in humans by 23%, just doing that one thing? I don't know. But, you know, how are you going to be able to, you know, my point is, well, people could do what they want, but I look at it, that's the best I have to go on. It's not that, it's not that expensive. I'm not selling it, and that's what I'm doing. It's like, some people want a triple blind study with humans, you know, we're going to get 2,000 humans with, that took the herb for 100 years and the other ones, or, or tried to take it for 100 years if they lived that long, and the other ones took it for, you know, 200 years maybe, and they're still taking it, right? Uh, just kidding here, but you know what I mean. You're not going to get that type of triple blind evidence <laughs> that's going to tell you flat out how well it works on humans. But the Russians have, you know, they're giving it to their cosmonauts, they're giving it to their Olympic athletes and things. It's like, uh, it's a very good thing to do. And it's like, you're not going to always have something where it's totally laid out for you, where it's definitely, definitely, definitely going to work 110% every time and all that type of stuff. But there's a lot of good indications it does. There's a lot of good indications it does. But, uh, you know, if you're interested in longevity... You know, good health, alertness, just being more vibrant, you know, having a little more spark and all that type of stuff. This is a damn good herb to take. So, um, and I just take it into pill form, the extract. Sometimes you open up the thing and I put it on the food and stuff. And, you know, I don't do anything exactly the same every day. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Now, if you see me on this channel 100 years from now, um... Well, you probably won't, but other people will. <laughs> then you know it worked. <laughs> then you know it worked. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I don't know. I just play around with this stuff. It's almost like a game, like in search of what's the best method to make you stronger, make you better, make you more vibrant, make you more intelligent, make you more alert, make you live longer, make you just better all the way around. This is a damn good herb. A lot of people don't know about it. It's... Uh, yeah, it's rhodiola root, I guess you call it. That's how you say it. R-H-O-D-I-O-L-A. I got three of them right here, actually. So I got more. I always, I've always, I've been buying this for the last two years, but I forget to take it. I forget to take it. <laughs> I take so many different things. It's like, you know, I can't remember all this stuff myself. And maybe if you watch my channel, some of the things I tell you, it's almost like, Maybe you're getting a little overwhelmed with some of the things I'm saying about some of these herbs and stuff. But I'm a, I'm a believer in it, too. But sometimes I, you know, I forget about something. I, got, I literally have, oh, I don't know, three or four hundred different supplements and herbs. You know, I, I literally have them right here at home and stashed on the shelves. And I don't take every single thing every day, but... I forgot about this one, and I said, wow, baby, I am take." I was taking it for a while, and I forgot about it, because I get on another kick. But it's, uh, you know, 23% longer lived on a, on the a, uh, fruit flies tells you something. To me, that's a good indication. 
This puppy is some powerful stuff, isn't it? That's a pretty good indication, isn't it? Anyway, not too many people heard of it, so I figured I'd present this.